All right. We need to understand one thing here. Pouches are not addictive. Uh, patches are not addictive. Uh, vaping isn't addictive. Cigarettes are not addictive. Nicotine is addictive. What I'm saying is, if you put a patch on your body with nothing on it, like a Band-Aid, you're not going to get addicted to it. You put a uh, vaping, some sort of vaping device that just causes water vapor to go into your lungs. It's not addictive. I don't know if it's going to hurt you or not, but it's not addictive. If you were to uh, use a cigarette that has no tobacco in it, no nicotine, that's not addictive. They used to make them. Short time period. It was called free. That was the brand name, free cigarettes. They were supposed to be a quitting device. <laughs> uh, I never met a person who bought the second pack of free cigarettes. I met a whole bunch who got the first pack. I think they were made out of lettuce. Maybe cocoa was in there or something. Whatever it was, they tasted like garbage, according to everyone who tried it. And it didn't give them nicotine. So no one bought a second pack. It went out of business very quickly. Uh, pouches are not addictive unless they have some addictive substance in them. So if they have nicotine in them, if you have a caffeine addiction and uh, they have caffeine in them, uh, yeah, then, then they're addictive. But it's not the patch itself. It's not the pouch itself. It's not the cigarette itself. It's not the vaping device itself. It's the nicotine that's addictive. Now, some products are more addictive than others. Some forms of nicotine delivery are more addictive than others. But that just means they hook you faster. And they help you build up tolerance faster. They're more efficient at getting nicotine into your brain. And so, yeah, those are more addictive. But once you're addicted, it doesn't make a difference if they're more addictive or not. You're already addicted. If you don't want to stay in an active form of addiction, again, there's two forms of addiction. There's the addiction where you're using it, and so your body constantly demands it. It needs it. If it doesn't have enough, it goes into withdrawal and it doesn't feel good. That's an active addiction. You have to keep feeding and balancing, not to take too much in, not to let too much nicotine out. That's that's the balancing act of being a, a nicotine addict, an active addict. And then there's a nicotine addict that doesn't use anymore, that hasn't used in days or weeks or months or years or decades. They still have an addiction. There's no sign of that addiction. There's no problem with that addiction. It's not interfering with their life at all. But they still have the addiction. The only thing of consequence about that particular addiction is if you deliver nicotine again from any nicotine source, then you're going to be an active user again, balancing not too much, not too little in chronic withdrawal or chronically using. Those are miserable states. The way to break free and stay free, again, it's not by getting rid of any of the particular mechanisms for delivery. It's keeping nicotine out of your body from any system, from any source. And the way to do that is to finally make and stick to a personal commitment to never deliver nicotine again from any source.